In this topic, we'll be looking at profits, loss, and discounts. Let's start with some basic definition of profit, loss, discounts. A trader buys an article at a cost price and sells it at a selling price. These are basic definitions that we know. If the cost price and selling price are two different values, then the trader will either make a profit or he's going to make a loss. If he sells for more than what he bought, if the selling price is greater than the cost price, then he'll make a profit. The profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. This is known to us. If he ends up selling at a price lesser than what he bought for, the cost price is greater than the selling price, or if the selling price is less than the cost price, he will make a loss, and the loss is cost price minus selling price. Let's take a very simple example. Cost price is equal to 100. Selling price is equal to 120. If the selling price is greater than the cost price, the trader will make a profit, which is equal to 20. Conversely, the cost price is equal to 100, and the trader manages to sell it for only 90. The selling price is less than the cost price, so he'll make a loss, which is equal to 10. So these are known to us. The crucial part comes now, defining this profit and a loss as a percentage. Usually they'll say the trader made a 40% profit, 20% profit. How do you find out the percentage profit? Percentage profit is profit divided by cost price. It's profit upon cost price. The denominator is cost price. Make a note of this. So profit by cost price into 100 is the percentage profit. We know profit is selling price minus cost price. So selling price minus cost price by cost price into 100 is your percentage profit. How do you compute percentage loss? Percentage loss is equal to loss upon cost price. In this case as well, the denominator is the cost price into 100. Loss is nothing but cost price minus selling price. So it's cost price minus selling price divided by cost price into 100. Most important thing to notice, the denominator for computing the percentage profit and the percentage loss is a cost price. So if you cross multiply this, profit is certain percentage, this profit percentage of the cost price. So if someone says the trader made a 20% profit, what they are actually saying is it is 20 percentage of what? Of the cost price. The trader made a 10% loss. It's 10 percentage of what? It's 10 percentage of the cost price. Right? So there's one thing that you'll have to remember that you should not forget when it comes to profit loss is that profit percentage and loss percentage are percentages of the cost price. Let's do a couple of examples, exercises to help us consolidate how to find out percentage profit, percentage loss, cost price, selling price and all of these. So this lays the ground for solving questions coming down the line. Start with this table, pause the video at this point and complete the blanks in these five rows. Each of these rows has got two blanks. Fill it up and then come back to the video to check out whether you've got the same answer as what I've got. Hope you have done this. Let's get started. We'll start with these blanks first and then compute the profit percentages and loss percentages subsequently. 200 is a cost, 240 is a selling price. So the profit made is equal to 40. If there's a loss, I'll denote it with a negative sign. 150 is the cost price. The profit or loss made is equal to 50. So the selling price is going to be equal to 200. Profit is 50. Cost price is 150. So selling price is 200. In this case, the profit is 40. What is given to us is the selling price. So the cost price would have been selling price is equal to cost price plus profit. They said the selling price is 200. The profit is equal to 40. So what is going to be the cost price? Take this value to the left hand side. So 160 is going to be the cost price. Let's move on to the next row. There's a loss made. 30 is the loss. Cost price is equal to 120. The merchant bought at 120, made a loss of 30. He would have sold it for 90. The last row, merchant makes a loss of 50 and sells it at 250. So selling price is equal to 250. The merchant has made a loss. So cost price minus loss is going to be the selling price. So the loss is equal to 50. So bring this 50 to the left hand side. Had he bought it for 300, made a loss of 50, he would have sold it for 250. Now let's go on to computing the percentage profit and percentage loss. Let's start with the first row. Profit made is 40. Cost price is equal to 20. Percentage profit is equal to profit divided by cost into 100. So in this case, it's going to be 40 divided by 200 into 100. So cancel the zeros. 40 by 2, 20 percentage is the profit made in this case. Let's move on to the second row. The cost price is 150. Profit made is 50. Same process. Profit divided by cost price into 100. 
50 divided by 150 into 100. So, we will cancel out as a 3. 100 by 3 is a 33.33 percentage. So, move on to the third row. The third row, the profit made is 40. Cost price is equal to 160. So, 40 divided by 160 into 100 is a percentage profit. Cancel out as a 4. 100 by 4, 25 percentage is a profit made by the trader. So, move on to the fourth row. Fourth one, there is a loss of 30 on a cost price of 120. So, loss divided by cost into 100 should give us the answer. We will cancel out as a 4. 100 by 4 is a 25. So, the loss made is a 25 percentage loss. In the last row, cost price is 300. Loss made is 50. Loss divided by cost price into 100 should give us the answer. So, we will cancel out as a 2 zeros will cancel out. 50 by 3. 16.66 percentage is the loss made by the merchant. So, I think by now you are familiar with how to compute the loss percentage and profit percentage. All of these are always percentages of the cost price. The denominator for computing this percentage is the cost price. Okay. These are the answers that you have got. Take a quick look and check whether you have got the same answer. We will do one more exercise. Okay. In this case, I have given you the percentage profit and percentage loss. We need to fill in these two blanks. Take a minute, pause the video again, complete the blanks for these 5 rows, come back and check out whether I got the same answer and check out the method that I have used to compute the values in certain cases. Right? Let's start with the first row. The first row, the profit made us 10%. Profit is always a percentage of the cost price. Cost price is 200. 10 percentage of 200 is 20. So the merchant makes a 20 profit. So the selling price is going to be cost price plus profit which is equal to 220. Let so move on to the second row. Loss made is 20% because it's a minus 20%. Cost price is equal to 150. Percentage loss, percentage profit or percentages of the cost price. So, you can directly apply this. 20% of 150 is equal to 30. Merchant makes a loss of 30. 150 is a cost price. Made a loss of 30. Therefore, he is going to be selling it at 120. Let's so move on to the third row. Till now, it was straightforward because we had the cost price given to us. We could apply these percentages directly on the given value. Whereas in the third row, it's a little trickier, little more interesting. They given you the percentage, no problem. But they have not given us the cost price because it's 15 percentage of, let's say, C is the cost price. What is given to us is the selling price. So one way of doing it is, you can say the selling price 230 is equal to the cost price plus 15 percentage of the cost price. 15 percentage is 15 by 100. So 230 is equal to cost price plus 15 by 100 of the cost price. So, 230 is equal to 115 by 100 of the cost price. So, the cost price is equal to cross multiplying this value 230 into 100 divided by 115. We will cancel out as a 2. So, the cost price is equal to 200 and this profit made is equal to 30. So, this is one way of going about it but let us not do it this way. Let us do it the way we did proportions in percentages. The assumption I am going to make is if the cost is 100, because we know the profit is 15 percentage, profit will be 15 percentage of 100 which is equal to 15. So, the selling price is going to be equal to 115. This is provided the cost is 100. The cost is 1000, profit made is 150. The selling price is equal to 1150. So, you will quickly realize that this proportionality is maintained. Now, let us look at what is given to us. We know the selling price. Selling price is given to be equal to 230. We need to compute these two parts. The given 230 is 2 times the 115 that we had with the assumption that we took as 100. So, if this is twice, each of these will also have to be twice. So, 15 will be 2 times, this value is going to be 2 times 15 which is equal to 30. The actual cost is 2 times 100 which is equal to 200 which is what we got as the answer here. So, use proportions to find out which will give you the answer really quickly. Let us move on to the fourth row and apply proportions there. Here the loss is 10 percent. What is given to us is the selling price. We do not have the cost price. I am going to use the proportions route. Cost is 100. The merchant makes a loss of 10. So, the loss is 10. He is going to be selling it at 90. What is given to us is the selling price which is equal to 135. We quickly realize this 135 is one and a half times 90. So, each of these values will also be one and a half times what we assumed. 
one and a half times 100 is equal to 150. One and a half times 10 is going to be equal to 15. So the merchant bought it at 150, made a loss of 10%. So he lost 15 and he sold it at 135. Use proportions, it gives you the answer in a jiffy. The last row, what is given to us is the amount of loss, which is 50. The percentage profit or sorry, amount of profit, which is equal to 50. The percentage profit is equal to 10%. We'll again, use the proportions, we will not do anything very different. So 100 is the cost, profit made is equal to 10. So the selling price is going to be equal to 110. What is given to us is this number, which is equal to 50. The given number is 5 times what we have assumed. So each of these will also have to be 5 times. So the cost is equal to 500, made a profit of 50. So he sold it at 550. So proportions route are really the fastest way to get to this answer. Quickly run through this proportions part of it again if you need. So any future question that we will be solving, we will be using proportions more often than not. What else can you do to prepare for the test? Good question. You can always start by subscribing to this channel and signing up for the most comprehensive and affordable GMAT quant course that's available online at gmat.vizaco.com.